All right, everybody, we are down here at one of my favorite lakes, and we are going to be trying to catch some fish today, schooling. Usually on this lake, they school in the summer, and you can catch like a ton of fish. And I'm hoping that's what we can do today. I just talked to a couple guys at the boat ramp. They said they caught a couple out deep, um, but they acted like they didn't catch that many. But I feel like I'm pretty good at this lake, so we're gonna see what we can uh, get cooking. Haven't been out here in a long time. First time I've taken the boat out since New York. So we're gonna go see what we can get on. You guys stay tuned. We're gonna try to catch them. All right, so this is what we're working with. We've got drop shot, shaky head. That is a mag dog, which is like a spook walking bait and a wobble head. So I was expecting for these fish to be out here schooling and I haven't seen any come up, only like scattered, like one fish will come up or something like that. Not like a huge explosion of fish feeding, but I'm confident that there is going to be some. We might not catch them schooling. I mean, we might have to catch them a different way. I don't really know. I mean, there's certain things out here that always work and we can always do that. There's also a lot of docks. We can go skip some docks and stuff like that if we need to. Um, I don't know. We're just going to have to see. I really wanted to get on a schooling bite, but if the fish aren't schooling, it's just not going to happen. I got a couple other spots I can check to see if they're schooling there, but it might just not be hot enough. Might not be the right conditions. I don't know. It seems hot enough. I'm sweating bullets right now. I'm here to tell you. Literally sweating bullets. I marked some fish up here. Um, they were just all sitting on the bottom. So I'm gonna try to catch those. But it would be so cool to be able to catch them on like an Alabama rig or something if they were schooling. But we'll just have to see what they're gonna do. Right now I've got the drop shot. This thing will work up shallow too. There's a lot of fish still up shallow. This lake, you can catch them up shallow like all the time. Not big ones, but you can catch them. So if we wanna go skip docks or throw poppers up shallow, we can go do that. We're just gonna try this deep bite first. See what we can get going. All right, so this is a spot that I marked and I'm Marking a fish right here below me, so I'm gonna try dropping on them. The boat is moving, which is not good, but. Actually, that spot I marked, this is an old spot. This isn't even like the spot I marked today. This is an older spot. But there was a fish on the grass. Yeah, I screwed up on that one. Cast it right over that tree. There's always one sitting on that tree too. Like all the time. Literally. I'm gonna prove it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ruin the spot. I'm gonna leave my rod out. I'll throw a shaky head up there and I'll catch one real quick. Check this out. They're always sitting right here. There's like always one right, right here. That wasn't that great of a cast, but whatever. Catch them on top water right here too. A lot of the times. Tell you what, that rock feels amazing. There's a fish under me right now, under the boat. Such a freaking cool day too, like nice and sunny. Got a little tiny breeze. Well, that almost felt like a bite. Oh my gosh, that was a bite. Oh my gosh, I know you guys just saw that. Tell me you didn't just see that. I thought he had it in his mouth the whole time. I should have set the hook. That thing pulled back on me. I think that was a good one too. Oh my gosh, dude. I knew I had one. 
I should have just set the hook. It just felt so weird. Like it was super small. Something like that. It was so weird. He just kept holding on to it too as I reeled up to the boat. And he just kept having it in his mouth. Just came up with me. Alright guys, we just moved to a shallower spot. I went and idled a deeper spot and I didn't see anything that I really liked. And we just pulled up here and I just saw a bass cruising the bank right there. Not a big one, but I did see one. I don't know where he went now, but it was like a pound, pound and a half maybe. Which is definitely a good freaking sign. I mean, I hadn't even started fishing yet. I was about to tie on a different bait. And I just saw him just swimming right there. I was like, well, dang, might as well just freaking pick up the drop shot, try and throw it at him. There they are. There's three bass right there. There's three. Oh my gosh, there's a decent one right there. They're swimming around in groups. It's like they're frag guarding. They just got scared by me throwing my drop shot in though. There's one that was about two pounds in that little group right there. They don't really want the drop shot, I know that much. I figured I'd be able to eat it, but they could care less about that thing. I just saw like four or five bass though, swimming in a group. One of them was chasing some like bluegill or fry. It's like chasing them. The other two, they were just swimming. Dad gum it, dude. One just hit me right there. Missed it. Probably a small one. I was trying to make sure. There's like a fence. This fence goes underwater. I can like see the last post with my glasses and I didn't want to hit it with the boat. I was trying to move the stupid boat. So I'm going to decide he wanted to hit it out here. That was some sort of fish. Try to come up behind it and hit the tails. Didn't eat it though. I think it's a brim. A little baby bass. Yep, it's a brim. Of course. First fish of the day. Not the right species. Typical. I'm not going to get hooked by this stupid sum gun either. Just not going to happen. You got hooked in the belly, didn't you, boy? First fish. Not a bass. Not a good thing. We need bass. Not bluegill. There should be one right down there. With a little tiny pipe putting in some water. Yep. Oh, that's perfect. It's like a little money spot, dude. That just makes complete sense. First one of the day. Stop at Jim Bob. There's a little pipe back here putting in some fresh water. Oh my gosh, dude. Go get this guy back. A little pipe putting in some water back here. I bet they're going to be stacked on it too. He just took my worm. That's like so textbook. That it's stupid. A 
I'm just biting the head off a little bit. That water's probably a lot cooler too. Yep, there's another one. Oh, you freaking sucker, dude. That's something I just took my worm too. Another one. Oh, there's bluegill beds all right there. Literally. So many bluegill beds right there, it is insane. There's gotta be some bass. That's a bass. <laughs> Yo, this little pipe right here is freaking loaded. Freaking loaded, dude. That one was on the popper. Caught one on the drop shot, one on the popper. There's like a ton of bluegill beds right here. And then that pipe's putting in water. It was putting in a lot more than it is now. I know you guys can't see it, but there's beds everywhere. I see the bass. He's just chilling right there. I just gotta get out of bait. About to sight fish him. Yep. <laughs> that was so stupid. I literally watched him eat it. I knew that I could catch that one. He was just sitting down there. This is a small one, but they're freaking loaded up right here. That's the new pattern. Okay, Jimmy. Stop it. Stop it, please. Stop it, please. Thank you. There you go. They're sitting on top of these bluegill beds. That's the new pattern. That's where the bass are at. They're freaking stacked right here. There's another one. Number four. That's so crazy, dude. They're just stacked up right here. Freaking loaded on this thing. They're not big, but they're bass. Better than we've been catching, that's for sure. You sucked in the bottom lip. Number four right there in the same spot. They keep taking my freaking worm. Every time. Literally, we just keep taking it. Good thing we have plenty of the old divine shaky worm. The only reason I bite the head off is just to make it smaller. You can see it's just a smaller presentation. That fish came right over here on this edge. On the edge of the beds. They keep patrolling this area for some reason. I can see them. They keep like moving around. All right, we caught like four or five off this spot. I'm gonna go ahead back out. They're freaking loaded back here though. I wanna find another spot very similar with a lot of beds. Because those bass are patrolling those bluegill beds. So if you can find those bluegill beds, you'll find those bass. That's just how it is. Good possibility there might be some back here.
Oh my gosh. Another one. <laughs> That's crazy. That just goes to show you, once you find the fish, you can catch them. I've barely gotten any bites all day. Come back here where there's bluegill beds and they're stacked. Not any big ones, but if these small ones are back here, there's gonna be some good ones too. All right, just got another drop shot tied on. Just broke off. I don't know what I broke off on. I don't know if it was a fish or a rock. I don't really know, but we're just gonna keep on going. I don't really think it was a fish, but whatever. We're gonna keep working our way around, trying to find some more beds, bluegill beds. I gotta find something shallow enough for the bluegill because normally they're always in all the uh, shallow, shallow areas bedding. Not in anything deep, so that's what we're after right now. Some shallow pockets. All right, we're gonna go try a different spot real quick. All right, so this is a little secluded cut kind of cuts back in here and it's very sandy those bluegill are going to make their beds where it's a very sandy area and where it's blocked off from boat waves and boat traffic and everything else so i'm thinking there's potential for there to be some beds back here i'm i'm not really 100 percent sure but we're gonna at least just try it and see I haven't caught one back here yet this year they usually school up pretty good back here too but i don't know we'll see what happens i don't know where in the heck they are i really thought there's gonna be some freaking bluegill beds back here not gonna lie i was pretty confident to be honest with you That's a bass. Golly, I was about to say, dude. Not a bad one. Not terrible. Shish kebab. Shish kebab. Shish kebab. All right, buddy. This is why you have to be careful whenever you catch bass because... Golly, that's afraid. Bad. Because they will try to freaking hook the ever-living heck out of you. When they jump. Let's get this one out first. This one's kind of scaring me. Okay. Alright. There's number six or seven. I don't really know. I think it's number two on the old splashback popper right there. Shad scales pattern. If you guys want to go get you one, use my code. And you get 10% off. And we now have to retie. Everybody check your line after you've caught some fish. Because after you have been throwing something for a while, you've been rubbing it up against cover and stuff. That right there on my line, that I'm surprised that didn't just break with that little fish because it's so bad. So make sure you're always checking that your line is not frayed. Because if it's frayed... You'll get blown up by like a five pounder and it'll come off and then you'll be very sad. So don't do that. Just don't do that. I would just love to catch a couple more. What the heck is that? Oh my gosh, dude. Are you kidding me? Look at how small this thing is. Really? This thing is like smaller than my bait, literally. Oh my gosh, this is going on TikTok. Alright, go ahead, let the giant go back. I just, I, I His mouth is like, so small. I don't even, I don't understand that fish's mindset. But, uh, he got hooked. I, I didn't even like set the hook into him. He literally came up and somehow got hooked in the side of the face.
got him. I think it's a brim. Nope, it's a bass. I hooked him in the back a little bit. Golly, dude. Look at look at look at this joker. Okay, calm down, please. Ugh. Okay, now he's hooked my pants. No, you sucker. Dagum it. Okay, we got it out. Sheesh kebabs. I understand you're pissed off that you got hooked. I get it. I really understand. And I'm trying to get you unhooked, Jimmy. Okay? There we go. Another little dude. Finally starting to catch him on top water though. Which is a good thing. Very fun. That's great. Got one. Booyah, baby. Let's go. Little, little small joker. Where's the big Sally's at? Another one. 